Good evening, look who's here with me. me. It's our old friend Ricky. Me. We finally got out on an explore together. Uh, we've been to Mambi and now we're uh, back at the most haunted church in uh, England, supposedly. St. Bartholomew's? St. Botolf's. Botolf's, that's it. St. Botolf's. Botolf's. It's an abandoned uh, church, supposed to be haunted. One of the most haunted churches in Britain. Mega old. Yeah, like me, mega old. Yeah. It is, you can see that. It's uh, half past two in the morning. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's pitch black out here. Just to give you an idea how dark it is, let's turn the light off. Turn your light off. Yes, sir. There you oh go. Oh my gosh. That's how dark it is. So, uh, yeah, we're going to come and do a we're camping out of a night. What's your tents when we're back? We are mad. We're going <laughs> to we're going to venture in and uh, see if we can get some ghostly uh, going on. Am I tired? No. I've never felt so alive. I can smell fire in here though. <laughs> I've never felt so alive. How did you get the beans above the frank? So yeah, we've been here before, but we got disturbed by a group of teenagers and it wasn't very late at night. So we've uh, come back to do a full investigation. Oh, there's a bat. And a vampire, or not other. Hmm. So. Whew. It's a bit nippy, isn't it? Oh, we've got a cold shiver all down my spine then. It's probably because this face, this side faces the wind and obviously it's blowing through. We had, we, we uh, oh, that's bright. We spoke to a woman and a man earlier that come ghost hunting about half past ten at night. And she said she sent something in this part of the church, which would have been the, do you call it the vestibule? It's where the priest probably would have stood stand to do ceremonies and stuff. She said she felt the uh, presence here, like a cold feeling come over her. But like I said, we've got wind blowing through both these big windows and it's facing the wind direction. So I think that's the the reason she felt something. But we're going to do some EMF readings and things, see if there's anything untowards going off. Right, right we're all set up. Cat ball, touch sensitive, UV lights. We've lit some candles, but they keep blowing out, unfortunately. Set up a few trigger objects here. That my cross, dictaphone, which is recording, and temperature and EMF sensor. Brought down here. Put some lighting in, put some trigger objects, we've got a ball and a bell. If anything's powerful enough to press that or knock this ball off, I'd be very impressed. We've got bull bear. It's triggered by here. Uh, you can see that. Lights up when you touch it. Atmospheric in here. Got a uh, EMF reader. Got the reading zero. Here we've got a uh, recording. This camera here is recording now. It's been recording for the last hour. 
I'll leave that recording all night. We did light all candles all the way around here, but they've uh, unfortunately all gone out. As you can see. So yeah, I've got some uh, quite a lot of things set up. We've got another cat ball here. And there's one, I think I've showed you that one already. And there's actually one down there as well. Just there. Right. If there's any spirits here who would like to contact with us or give us a message, could you touch one of these devices with the lights on on the floor? Or touch the white bear on the windowsill? We'd really appreciate you to give us some sort of sign that you're here with us. Touch this device here in the middle of the floor with the antennas and the green light. Or blow out a candle for us. What the fuck, Ricky, what are you doing? Ricky's on security. So I've just spent the last good 45 minutes to an hour setting up in here, in the dark. It's supposed to be very haunted in here. I don't get the vibe. I suppose if I was on my own I might, but Rick is here, well he's outside somewhere, he's walking around the graveyard. But I'm going to turn the lighting off, or turn it down, and uh, see if I can get any contact. Is the spirit of a priest in this church? Could you give me some sort of sign to show me that you're here? Ricky's just walked past that window then with his torch on and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> you silly bastard. You scared the crap out of me then. In the name of the Lord, show yourself. We've come to this church far from where we live to try and make contact with you. For you to show us that you're still caretaking of this church, caring for it, protecting it. As a man of God, I'd ask you to show yourself. You can manipulate any of these devices we've put out on the floor. They won't hurt you. But they'll give us a sign that you're here. Prove to us that God and spirits exist. There's a cuddly toy on that windowsill over there. If you touch it, it'll light up and make a noise so we know you're here with us. When you walk past that window then with, with your torch, all I, I just said to her, just give us a sign that you're in your torch appeared at window and I shit my pants. <laughs> There's a bell on this uh, windowsill here, on this festival. There's a toy ball. Can you throw it back? Probably not. Can you press the bell? Yeah. 
not that saying, every time an angel gets its wings, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Press this bell and become an angel and get your wings. Touch one of these balls on the floor. Can you tell us what your name is? That was strong, me as well. Yeah, I heard it from over here. Oh folks, we'll just be, I've just been putting some batteries in this because it was flat from last time I used it. And we're in a graveyard here. I just set it sweeping just to make sure it was working and I said, and there was no no words coming out of it for a good minute or two. And I just asked the blue said, is anybody here with us? And instantly it said, me, clear as day. Who's here with us? Can you tell us your name? Come on, don't be shy, tell us your name. Rachel. There are any spirits here who would like to communicate with us? Funny how when we weren't recording, we got a response like that. Did you not record it? No, I'd stopped oh, it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a walk up here. If there's anybody here with us, could they tell us the, na the name? Oh, there's a lot of bugs here. <laughs> oh, I'm getting it swarmed. That's like something off the exorcist, isn't it? Does anybody here like to give us a message? Anybody here who would like to tell us anything? Say hello. God, there's bugs everywhere. Is anybody in this graveyard with us? Anybody here would like to say hello? My name's Daniel. That's Ricky. We've come all this way to see you. Can't be fucking bug. Getting eaten alive here. There's literally an infestation down there. As soon as I've walked away, they've gone one. It's almost as if they're attacking me to get me away from the grave. My name's Daniel and this is Ricky. We've come a long way from Doncaster to try and make contact with any spirits here today, aren't we? 
right from the CLO. Are you angry that we're here tonight? Would you like us to leave? Would you like Ricky to show you his hairy bum? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes! <laughs> I'd like, well, you heard the man Ricky. Trust it to only fucking strong answer we got. We weren't recording. No, none of us were. It'll be interesting to see if that camera's caught anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it was like your voice recorder. Yeah. It was. It was right Mine's on the other end, yeah. That ball's moved. I'm sure. Well, I might think it might have been that, but... <sighs> Can you throw this ball at Ricky? That's that guy there. He doesn't believe in God. Throw the ball at him. Teach him a lesson. Show him that God does exist and spirits exist. The Holy Spirit. Can you touch the cross? Show your faith in the Lord, touch the cross. If you're a man of God, come and touch the cross. Give us a sign that you're here. Yeah, we've been here a few hours now. The only response we've really had was when I was putting new batteries in the uh, spirit box and it, I said, is there anybody here with us? And it clearly is at this day said, yes. Unfortunately, I, not, <laughs> I wasn't recording because we were just changing batteries. It's typical, isn't it? Come and touch one of these balls, throw it at Ricky. Throw one of the balls at Ricky. Show us you're here. Come on, you can move it. Make it lighter. Somebody told me Satan worshippers have been in here. If that's true, blow out one of the candles. Extinguish a candle. Come on, you can do it. Show us the power. Show us that you've still got faith in the Lord by extinguishing a candle. If there's a monk here, extinguish a candle for us, please. Oh, oh. Come on, you can do it. Show us you're here. Please, put out the candle. Oh, it's going. It's going. Go on, keep going. Mm. Nope. 
and you make all the colours. Make all the colours go off now. Make them all go off. Blow them all up. At the same time, all three of them. You do that. I'm talking to this device in downtown. Just don't do that. It ain't gonna hurt ya. Tell me why it's so quiet. Is there any priests here with us? Is there any evil spirits in here? Is Lucifer in here? Is there any demons in here? Are there any spirits at all trapped in this building? Is there anybody who would like to give us a message? I will welcome in this church tonight. If you want us to leave, just say yes. Can you repeat yourself? We didn't hear that. Would you like us to leave? Or would you like us to stay and pray with you? Would you like us to stay and pray for you? Or would you like us to leave? I guess you're not Christians then if you want us to leave. Are there any evil spirits in this building? Anybody out here? Yes, what's your name? My name's Daniel. I'm always from Doncaster to say hello. Decided to stop here for the night to see if we can make contact with any spirits. There must be some spirits in this graveyard that want come, to come and talk to us. You can manipulate this device in my hand. Tell us your name. How many bodies, how many dead, how many dead people have been laid to rest in this graveyard? We won't hurt you. All we're trying to do is prove that there's life after death. Is anybody here who'd like to speak to us? Come and tell us your name into this box in my hand.
My name's Daniel, that's Ricky. We're not here to hurt you or disturb you from your sleep. We'd just like you to come and say a few words. Say hello. Let us know that you're here. Can you tell us your name? Has anybody got a message for us? Everybody's very quiet. Are there any soldiers in this graveyard? Any sailors? I'd just like to say thank you to any sailors that gave their life for this country. We appreciate everything you did and the sacrifice you made to keep us safe. Would you like to come and say hello? Can you tell us your names? Is there a sailor here who's got a message for us? Or for somebody else that we can give to them? Are there any sailors here who'd like to say hello? Well, I'd just like to say thank you to all you sailors for the service to our country and for everything you've done and you've sacrificed. Is there anybody else here in this graveyard? Any spirits? Let's communicate. Do you like this graveyard? It's very, very peaceful. Are there any children buried in this grave? Is there anybody here who wants to say hi? If you could show yourself, we'd really appreciate it. Come on, show yourself. We know you can. We know you're here. And you're just being shy. We've come all this way to see you. You could at least come and say hello. We'll be going soon. Come and say hello to this device in my hand. Come and tell us your name. Oh well, we'll be right then. Sorry that nobody came to say hello after we've seen all this way to see you. You must all be too busy. Too busy resting. Now 
I hope you haven't destroyed you. Have we disturbed you? Would you like us to leave? Would you like us to leave? Or would you like us to stay? I said stay. Would you like us to pray for you? Dear Lord, we ask you that you protect these spirits in this graveyard and accept them into the gates of heaven and forgive any sins. And show each and every last one of them mercy and love. Amen. Are you upset with the state of this grave? Would you like this to be repaired, yes or no? Would any spirits in this graveyard like us to fetch them some flowers next time we come? Cut some alcohol, would any spirits like some alcohol leaving on the grave? Nice drink, maybe rum, cider. Any drinkers? Any smokers? Come and say hello. No? Hello. I've got a couple of responses out there, I'm sure, but I don't couldn't really make them out because you can get speakers that plug into this, you know, like them phones, the ones you get for your phone. Yeah. So you just put yeah, yeah, yeah. In. Like you a, just like a little box, and can't you? A bit like an Alexa sort of thing. Yeah, we'll have to get one. Well, I'll have to get one. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few responses out there, but I, obviously I can't. It's that quick, and you can't really tell if it what it said. But I think. Oh man, what are you doing? We're breaking them fucking trees with. No, you got a little boy. No, no, I don't want to get malfades. <laughs> so I'm not even a fucking cut, you faggot. <laughs> hmm? Am I growing a beard? No, I've just not had a shave. I got up today, I thought, so I shaved my head and my face. I'm like, oh, you look better with a bit of stubble, mate. Yeah, no. Well, I stayed. I did to shag it. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast. Sail away with me, honey, put my heart in your hands. Sail away with me, honey, now, now, now. Yeah, I stood on the, the sailors' graves and thanked them for the service yeah. and tried to get some response from them. I got a few answers, but I don't know. Look at them all, fuck it out. Good, it's right. not surprised we all fucking uh, moths that are out there. Right. And they must look, oh, they live up there, look. Is it hollow or is it just the top of the door? The holiest of holes. No, oh, there is a little hole there. There are no bats there, they must have all gone outside. Oh, look, there's little holes up there, I wonder if that's where they've gone. Holiest of holes. I know, yeah. That's what I think we should get out of here and just leave this recording. We can get a power, we'll go and see if we've got a power cable. If not, we'll just leave it as it is. I don't have to leave that box in here. Oh, this one come up. Uh, no, it's fucking out. Just leave it there, I'll get it. Back to it, it's disappointing, isn't it, man? Yeah, that's what I said. It's, it's just like absolutely. I've walked around the graveyard with thing. I've asked loads of questions, and I've heard nothing. 
Well, now, perhaps when we check the dictaphones or watch the footage back, we might have caught something. But it's definitely not the most haunted church in England. You know? Oh, if it was, the spirits have obviously been cleansed out of it. But if there was evil spirits here. Or perhaps the spirits that are here know we've got no bad intentions and just aren't interested in showing themselves. It's this drive, would it be? Very quick, isn't it? You're working, right? You what, sorry? You're working. Yeah. Just a bit of Just turn your lights away from that. So it does, because you have lights. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll be alright. So we've <laughs> set this up recording, this camera phone camera leave that recording all night it's plugged into a power bank so hopefully it should last for a few hours got the boo bear the ball the emf detector a bit of lighting here we've got a uh, voice recorder i'm gonna stop that now and then reset it Is that recording No detector, I'll leave me cross here to see if I can get any trigger anything. Right, we've got another one of these going. Can't make that one. Yeah, so we'll just leave that going then. Leave them going all night and uh, 
so we'll get that and see if we can actually leave it alone if anything happens but it's early hours of the morning now it's uh, quarter to five so I think we'll just leave that going sun's coming up Dead again, that's the second lot. I've got it on full. I know, yeah, that white. I know, I fucking walked past one and another one appears behind it and it's just been with you. Yeah, in case anybody comes. Oh me? Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. Just can't expect everything, anything to happen, can we really? What's the chances are actually catching a real ghost? It's not like on TV. You could live somewhere, if you could stop here for weeks and weeks and weeks and never see anything. And then, yeah, and then one night on a certain date, it might be something might happen.